we finally have a dry day at the chateau which is amazing because we have had so much rain over the last year so because we've got a dry day we're straight outside to crack on with the walled garden and try and get a bit more done in here really because it's just been left and left and it's just getting worse and worse and we just want it done we want it to to get to a stage so we can have the paths down and start planning on getting plants and stuff like that in so the plan is we're going to start putting the matting down up the top here so mum's just there clearing that off now and then what that'll do is that'll sort of mark out all of the sort of edges for this top section ready for when we get the hedging and stuff like that and then we've got a tiny bit of the path left to do down the bottom here and then that's all of them dug out and we can start planning in the irrigation and start looking at what we're going to do for creating a, a barrier like an edge between the gravel and where the grass is going to go that'll be our next sort of task to do but yeah like i said it just looks a bit like a, a waste ground at the minute but hopefully come the end of the summer it will look so much better and so much tidier and it'll just be a nice space for people to come and enjoy really so i'm going to crack on now while ash is getting the tractor and the digger started me and mum are going to look at getting this matting down and then go from there so i will crack on now
So, we've got a workout today, haven't we, mate? Yeah. It's only a little tree. Yeah. <laughs> so, during the last big storm we had, the tree came down, this tree behind us here, which is quite big. So, today, me and little fella are going to get all the little branches off yeah. so that tomorrow, me and the farmer, Alan, yeah. can get down and get it chopped up mm -hmm. so he can get this field sorted so he can get the grass for his cows. Yeah. Yep. Come on then, let's do some work. Fingers crossed, there's no rain or clouds or storms or anything. So, nice quiet day, no cars on the road, no one about, everyone's out. So, I thought I'd come out and start getting a bit of some walls rebuilt. Over the winter, there's a couple of walls that have obviously fell down because of, they're just getting old and water's getting in and then obviously it's freezing and just blown all of the stonework. So we've got a part down here on the front railings. So we've got the chateau there, railings here, and we had one on the other side, but there's one here where the whole lot's just completely collapsed. So job today is get it all cleared out, get it all back together, because hydrangeas are around here and they're doing so well. And obviously the walls fell down and it's, squishing one a bit so yeah want to get it all sorted and just so it looks a bit nicer and tidier as well for when guests come and arrive and i think what we're looking at now because the gates are so clean as well we're going to look at pressure washing all of the wall to get that looking nice and spick and span as well so yeah i'll get it all cleared out out the way get all the stones wiped down and then start rebuilding it and we're just going to use sand and cement to rebuild it. That's what they've done previously with it. So that's all we're going to do with it now as well. So yeah, good day for it. And then 
if I get on really well, I'm going to get this one done. And then the one at the new footpath, like footpath entrance that we uncovered, as you would have seen in the last video, the walls all collapsed there as well. So that needs a bit of work. So if I can today, I'm going to get down there and get that one rebuilt as well. So I will crack on now. And there we have it, another job ticked off the list. So it's brilliant just getting all of these little small jobs all sorted and out of the way really. Um, that had gone down obviously over winter when we've had all the bad weather and stuff like that and it's just all collapsed. So it's good that we've got all that done now. Still cracking on with the garden. I ran out of pins for the matting, so we just ordered a few more of those and they should be on the way so we can finish the rest of that off and um, hopefully next week when they arrive and we're so close we've got this last little bit of path done um, or to do sorry and then all of the paths are dug out and we can move on to the next stage which it just feels like it's took forever really to get these paths done one because there's so much and I think we underestimated just how much dirt we were going to have to move really obviously dig it out and then find a new place for it so now all that's done it's good and we can get onto the, the next bit which is going to be doing edging and irrigation and then onto the plants really. So yeah and while we're moving all the dirt we've been putting it in the bottom field to level that off. We uncovered the little fountain so when we very first came here the previous owner had said that there was a little fountain down there and we never knew where it was and we uncovered a bit of it but now while I've been down there we've uncovered the whole lot and we're not too sure if to keep it down there or if to lift it up and we'll move it up to the top of the chateau so people can actually see it when they're in the garden 
because it's a bit sort of lost down there. So let us know if you think we should keep it in the original place where it is at the moment at the set of the second steps or if we should take it out, give it a good clean, give it a paint and move it up to the top of the, the chateau on like the terrace part so people can actually see it. Well yeah, it's been a good couple of days. Obviously Jonathan and Ash have got all of the tree cut down now, that's moved. I've got the wall sorted, we've all got the garden done and on to uh, other jobs. So hopefully we'll get a couple more good days and we can finish the garden off. So hope you've enjoyed today's episode, finally getting back outside and getting on with the garden. If you have, don't forget to like and subscribe because it massively helps us and we'll see you in the next one. So, see you soon. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.